What's going on, everyone? Saying hello in the reflection of the box there. Sometimes life happens, so sorry this video took so long. This is the final one with the Overwatch Ultimates uh, characters from Series 1. Mercy, Farah, $40 2-pack, great buy, great value, great figures. Let's take a look. All right, here the two are. Box is gone. Let's take a closer look at Farah first. So as you can see, I just picked her up by her shoulder pad. Uh, fantastic looking figure. I mean, you see this type of plastic on certain Marvel Legends. I don't necessarily see any marbleization though, on the plow. Oh, there's some sorlies there. It's just how Hasbro does it. Again, these are closer to Marvel Legends than Black Series. Um, I actually haven't opened any of the Power Rangers yet. I got the full set. So I don't know how those feel. If those feel closer to Black Series or those feel closer to Marvel Legends, but between the two new lines, I mean, Hasbro has a hit on their hands. Uh, wings, you know, you can go between hover jets. And, I mean, just when she does her crazy jump. Get in there. These look like they're connected by ball. They are connected by ball. They're, they're connected together in package. These feel, I mean, they're, they're hollow. So these feel kind of cheaper than the rest of the figure. They don't, I mean, if you let your kids play with your toys, maybe not Farah, or if you're just a, a rough person with your toys, maybe chill out when playing with Farah. Only complaint I have, that's a lie. I actually got a few complaints. This is probably, yeah, I think I got a lot of complaints with this figure. Uh, unmasked head, I mean, you can barely see Given how, how nice the print has been, look at her little eye tattoo. An unmasked head would have been uh, fantastic for this figure. Uh, other complaint is uh, the articulation. I mean, we only assume Hasbro never says they use single jointed elbows on female figures because of how thin their arms are. Well, we got someone here in some thick armor and we still only got single jointed elbows on the character so she has a hard time holding her gun uh, i don't think they thought as far as you know certain black series and and some legends now come with the the up down when when they're holding a weapon this one's just has the, the basic type of hinge so she can't i mean maybe you had better luck i can't get mine to grip this these hands are too soft so she just doesn't even try so i can't really get her in cool holding her rocket pose. She even has a default victory pose where she, I mean, look at how unnatural that looks. You know, I want her to hold it up the way Soldier kind of rests the gun on their shoulder. Other than that, I mean, just look at her. She's fantastic. If you don't know who this character is, you'd be like, whoa, look at this chicken armor. This is an awesome figure. She does have an ab crunch, similar to all the other female figures in this line, which uh, legends get on it. This ab crunch slash diaphragm, I think, is uh, the way to go for these female figures. You don't have to cut. You don't have to cut at the waist for a, for a back and forth. We can move the top. Um, these shoulder pads are also on a ball. Pop right out. There, it's all assembled in, in package. Uh, they also come with an extra bit of articulation there. Yay! So in the game, her ultimate is a missile barrage. So, sadly, the effect she came with actually isn't Missile Barrage. It would have been great to have some missiles to plug in here with some fake smoke with the missiles in the end, similar to the Soldier 76. Uh, let me see if I can dig that out. I got that close by. I do. Similar to the Soldier 76 uh, missile... Uh, missile... Uh, I'm forgetting the name of the move. Sorry about that. Blanking. Let's move on. But, yeah, this would have been cool to have some missiles to plug into here. It said her effect is uh, these little blasts to show as if she's, and I may have the wrong piece here. I think I do have the wrong piece for this one in particular. Sorry if I'm all over the place with this camera. Um, but yeah, where can I, jeez, let me grab a correct piece for once. Nope. No, looking at things through the lens isn't helping me. There we go. So, you know, this is part of 
her missile barrage. Boom, boom. Well, I'll, I'll back up, but just so you can see real quick. You know, that looks cool. Let's continue on. I'll put the other the others on in a bit. I keep jumping back and forth between things and I apologize. Ball shoulders, she doesn't have butterflies given probably because of the aesthetic. She has this large breastplate here, uh, which would probably, I mean, it would ruin the aesthetics. There's no way you can move uh, back and forth. Legs go pretty far out, despite the hindrance there. Again, you know, I kind of appreciate, or I do appreciate, not kind of, I do appreciate more that these are, are, are on point to the designs of the toys. You know, no shortcuts were taken. Uh, double jointed knees, there is no thigh cut. Oh, let me see, oh, I, I lied, look at that. Pop that right off, easy. And it goes back on easy. So there is a, a, a thigh, a thigh swivel there. It's not a cut, it's actually uh plugs right in. So double jointed knees, she's got the, the rocker and the hinge. It's pretty good, which is cool because you could get her in her flight. There you go, a little hovering. So, Mercy flies too, not like Farrah flies, because Farrah can hover through a whole match and then has a crazy boost that launches her even higher in the sky and she can keep hovering down till her fuel replenishes. But, yeah, they it, it, this figure, the set comes with a stand, basically, and the stand in the package is packed behind Mercy, but in any promotional shots, Farrah's the one on the stand. Really... They're not, they're not keeping you from using this uh, on, on Mercy, but I think Farah benefits from the stand the most. Let me get this in. So, there we go. Yeah, this is a rad effect. Man, I can't get these to rest. What is going on? You guys are fighting with each other here. And I talked about the stand just a few seconds ago, but look at this is nice. I mean, we've, so I mentioned it in the original. Okay. Our healer's down. This is what happens, you don't protect the healer. So we just got jump troopers and all we got were, were this little triangle base stand. Why not something like this? Empire logo, it's a cool stand for jump troopers. And this feels, it feels, uh, I don't wanna say cheap, but it feels affordable to pack in with with no additional cost. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, up down here. I mean, you, you're not limited to... Is this the only one that moves? Yeah, this is the only one that moves to clamp your fig figure in. And then... But oh, this is what should have came with the Jump Trooper. And every flying figure done with Marvel Legends and, and Black Series going forward. Sorry about that, but I feel like I'm ranting more in this video than any other video, considering I love what I buy. I try not to buy anything I don't like, unless it's uh, because I have to get a Build-A-Figure piece. No comment there, but what is blocking this, this little piece here? So there she is. Again, this visor, man. I wish it was adjustable. Get a look at her rocket launcher. This is awesome. This looks great. Look at that sloppy paint there, but nothing is left un untouched here. This looks great. And on her wrist here is her. I think this is her. What she what she uses to to knock back. Um, the concussive blast. So, I feel like, you know, I, I, I remember how detailed Ninja Turtles were when I was a kid. And they'd have all this sculpted detail, and but it would just be, if this was like Playmates, this would be all blue. So I appreciate the paint and, and these figures, of the, the minor, I mean, look at these minor little gold nicks in there. Fantastic see some type of uh some etching in there really really goes with her egyptian background 
Again, I just wish we had an alternate head or this visor could lift. Alternate head. I want an alternate head. And I wish you could hold her rocket better. It's just kind of there. Uh, these come out really easy as I showed you. So that's her effect. Stand her back here. And we'll move on to Mercy. Angela Ziegler. Please rise again. I screwed up. I screwed up, guys. I forgot to show you Farrah's extra hands. And I just dropped them. This is, I'm all over the place. Sorry about that. Two fisted hands. I feel like you can see more marbleization in there. But yeah, I mean, let's get Mercy. I mean, this is a fan favorite. This is, uh, if you saw Toysha's share this video back uh, November of last year, I was at BlizzCon, took a close up of this picture, made the rounds online. Uh, this figure is fantastic. I can't stress that enough. This is this is great. This is probably my favorite figure in this pack. Uh, no offense to Farrah, Farrah's also an awesome figure, but I feel like I had more complaints about Farrah. Again, there's that tiny little ab crunch on these tiny wasted women that we can have we can definitely uh use in in legends you know um a lot of people are buying these figures uh who are fans of action figures which is awesome that means hasbro's doing a good job a lot of people don't know who these characters are so we'll see less acba less just figure photography of them which is why it leads me back to why legends female figures need this ab crunch because so many dudes are are taking pictures of legends versus overwatch uh her wings here are connected by ball come out really easily these are great let's just pop these off so we can get a closer look that's the point of this video a closer look so i know when the figma comes out uh i think these gold uh hologram like pieces are are gonna be separate pieces and you're gonna have to plug them in uh that seems almost unnecessary to me uh, you know what though? I think when she's chilling, they're not on. They're not active. This is when she's using her ultimate to heal, or just when she heals, or when she's uh, flying towards uh, someone who needs healing or someone who needs a boost. So, Caduceus staff, fantastic. This uh, her the the effect that comes with Farah is is a glow, a little nice glow that goes into. Actually, does it go this way? Yeah, it goes this way. So, you know, you can raise your dead. I don't have someone here. I, can, I mean, I can knock you down. And there you go. It worked. She looks sloppy. It looks sloppy. This video is all over the place. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, like Farah, she comes with some hands. She comes with a little fist. She comes with a trigger finger, and that's because she comes with her little pistol. Caduceus uh, Blaster, Caduceus Pistol. I think it's a blaster. I think it's called Blaster. Yeah, Caduceus Blaster. This is, the, this is because uh, this is like a last resort for her. You guys are failing her. You're not protecting her. She needs to shoot and defend herself. It happens. You guys have been killed by Mercy. Admit it. It's happened. Don't rage quit. Just deal with it. Respawn. Have fun. She has ball. Join your shoulders. Again, no, no, no butterfly. I don't know. Has there been a, a female figure with butterfly joints from Hasbro? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. She can't really look up because of the collar. Man, look at how, how good that gold is. I think something that thin, I mean, it's a little sloppy. It goes thicker in some places, but it's good. She can look down with her dead. What are you doing? You disappoint me. I'm not resing you. Diaphragm. Again, that little tiny ab crunch, which I'm in love with, man. Why, why do I need to see this on... on Marvel Legends. Marvel Legends are what I primarily collect. That's what everyone primarily collects. I've been collecting since uh, pre-Marvel Legends Toy Biz figures. Um, pliable. Pliable. Not so pliable. Up to there. I mentioned that. We got thick jokes. 
Uh, I mentioned how thick the plastic is here. People thought I was talking about her thighs. You guys are pigs, but I love you. That's okay. Um, double jointed knees. No, no, uh, no calf. No calf joint. But yeah, fantastic. And the hinge is there. Is there. The detail on the glove's great too. It's a little line work. I mean, she has this logo, like there's, you know, and we don't know much about the story. They still, they've been teasing us for three years, giving us scraps of story. Hurry it up, by the way. But was there like a team of medics? You know, why would one woman need a logo? But yeah, was there a team of Overwatch medics? We don't know. Perhaps that robot McCree rescued in his short or Ash's short. But yeah, I mean, look at that face, those blue eyes. Eyebrows, little earpiece. I wish this was connected more. It looks a little weird, just this little black. But she has, she has it on the other side too, right? Yeah, she does. Uh, maybe it isn't an earpiece or a mic, but yeah, her little makeshift halo. Gorgeous figure. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous figure. That's it, guys. We need series two. I'm hoping San Diego Comic-Con will show us Series 2. I hope it's not a situation where these toys didn't sell well and we see Series 2 and just never get Series 2. That would suck. But, yeah, here's a quick little, you know, is this her man? I don't know. People I don't pay attention to fan theories or fan art, but these two were together in, uh, actually these three were together. Oh, we need a Winston now in the latest uh, PVE event. Uh, Storm Rising? Storm Uprising? Storm Rising? Correct me in the comments. Um, wasn't as good as the previous years. I mean, now I'm going off on a tangent on just Overwatch in general. I apologize. But, yeah. Let me know what else you want to see. Again, I'm thinking uh, Mythic Legion unboxing. Um, some Legends. I mean, there's Legend reviews all over the place. I will do throwback videos to older legend figures you might not have seen reviews on or nobody's reviewed or because of how popular collecting's gotten in recent years. But I appreciate you. I appreciate you subscribers. I appreciate your likes. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your constructive criticism and your corrections of me, of any errors I may speak in my videos. Thank you so much, guys.